Today in Tinkercad, we're going to learn how to create an ink stamp. This is a pretty easy project that only has a couple of steps to it. To begin, we're going to come to Tinkercad and click Create New Design. Once we're in, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to name it. So we're going to put your name and then stamp. The next step is to create a base for our stamp. For this, you're going to use either the box or the cylinder. I'm going to go with the box and I'm going to drag it out onto the work plane and I'm going to stretch it out a bit, make it a little bit bigger. There's no exact number for this, so just find a size that looks good to you. What we are going to change the size of is the height. So for this, I'm going to come to my top center square here. We don't need it to be 20 millimeters. We're going to bring it down to about five millimeters. So I'm just going to sink that down a bit until we get to five. That's going to give me the base for my stamp. Our next step is to create the design we want to stamp. And for this, we're going to go back to the noun project where we were the other day. So I'm going to go back to the noun project website, sign in, and I'm going to search for whatever it is I want to use. I'm going to go look for BB-8 from Star Wars. And I'm going to find an icon that I think would make a good stamp. When I find one I like, I'm going to click on it. I want to click get this icon, a basic download, and then I want to download it as an SVG file. Once I download it, then I'm going to go back to Tinkercad and I'm going to go to my import button over here. I'm going to click choose a file and I'm going to go find that icon that I just downloaded. I'm going to click open, check that everything looks okay, and click import. Now I have my BB-8 icon. I'm going to go ahead and rotate this around a little bit so he's a little more upright. And now I'm going to drag him over to my stamp base. If I need to, I can adjust his size so that he fits a little better on my stamp base. And I'm going to try to center him a bit. The last thing I want to do is check my height. I don't want him to be quite this tall. We want him to be just a little bit over the height of our base. So I'm going to click on that center square up here. And since our base was five millimeters, I'm going to make him seven millimeters tall. That lets him stick out just a little bit over the top of the stamp. My last step before I finish up, is to drag a box over both of them and click my group button. Once I've grouped them together, my stamp is finished. Now I need to download the STL file so that you can put it in Classroom and it can get printed. We're going to click Export. We want to make sure we have chosen everything in the design and we want to choose STL. Once we click on that, it will download your stamp and you're going to go upload that into Classroom and turn it in. 